Welcome back to Biz Talk with Sherman. I'm your host, Sherman On from Hotel Insurance Services. I'm excited to be able to talk with Roland Parker here. Your biz, your tech uh, with Roland Parker. Welcome back. Hey, Sherman. Great to be back with you. All right. So what, what we have here is some top questions that a company, a small business, should really be asking their tech com- provider. So kind of first question that comes to mind here is what should uh, your current tech, uh, you know, tech uh employee or company be doing when it comes to their business needs? So I think the big thing is you really want to, if you are just going with your tech company to provide IT support, that's the least common denominator. You really want to be sitting down with the company to look at uh, what programs am I using? What type of software am I using? How can I use my technology to benefit my company so that my company can continue to grow? So when a business owner has a look at this on their, let's say their, their statements, and they go, um, am I spending too much on technology? Yeah, so you really want to look at, you know, how much money you're spending and what is your return on investment. And we would like to sit down with you and discuss, you know, are you spending too little and your employees are getting frustrated because things are running inefficiently, or are you spending too much money and you you are overspending on things that you shouldn't be doing. So that's uh, when it comes down to sitting down with somebody like ourselves to really get a good understanding of your business and how you can benefit without overspending. And are there certain specific costs that are involved with that kind of look at their technology spend? So we'll actually do that complimentary. We're not going to charge anything for it. We really want to sit down with you and look at from a overall view of your company, what do you, what can you best spend your money on? And we're going to do that at, at no charge. That's amazing. Uh, and, and I got to find in that analysis, you find some, some good things and some things that maybe might need, need to be adjusted. Absolutely. Um, and you might find that, you know, you're going to have to spend some money on uh, buying new programs, new software uh, to improve the efficiency of your company so you can, can actually grow. Otherwise, you're going to find that you're actually painting yourself into a corner by not actually getting the correct software and hardware for your business. And when it comes to having a look at um, where people can store data, what's that look like? You know, these days, people have got so many different options. And you've really got to look at, are my employees mainly working in-house? Are they working remotely? Are we doing a hybrid situation? So there's certain times when having a server with all the data stored on the server makes the most sense, especially if all of your employees are really working in-house. You might find that you're putting your data on a NAS drive or network attached storage device, or you might say, well, we're going to go entirely in the cloud or partially in the cloud where the stuff in the cloud is synchronizing with, with your data in the server. So we really want to sit down and look at, some people say, well, the cloud's the way to go, I'm putting everything in the cloud. And we sit down with them and discover that 95% of the employees are working from the office and only a few people need remote access. You could be spending a lot of money putting your data in the cloud and it's not necessary. It's only when you have remote employees that it makes the best sense to have everything in the cloud. So uh, having those discussions before you start spending thousands and thousands of dollars on unnecessary technology is it's it's best to um, sit down with us and discuss this right in the beginning. Don't wait until you have started wasting money unnecessarily. I got to imagine that business owners might often ask you this following question, and that's um, how can a business or how can our technology here at our business actually drive profitability? Um, what what's your response if a business owner asks you that? Well, you know. Profitability can be greatly increased if you use the right technology, you invest in the right resources. Um, One of the things that you obviously need to make sure of, am I protected from a security point of view? Um, Because your profits are going to go way down if you suddenly get a ransomware attack or anything like that. But in addition to that, not just security and cost of implementation of that, but you also want to make sure, are my employees productive? Am I getting the most out of my software? Am I getting the most out of um, everything that we're doing? If you don't have the correct technology in place, you're never going to be able to grow your business. 
And how long has technology played a role in the business landscape? You know, this has been around for a long time. We've, we've been in the industry for the past 30 years, and we've seen it change dramatically over that time. But um, if you're looking at investing in cloud technology, if you're investing in servers, all of these things are known, proven things. You don't necessarily have to go after the latest and greatest flashing gizmos. These are true and try, tried and tested technologies that have been around for a while. That's amazing. So if, um, if someone's comfortable, or sorry, uncomfortable with technology talk, how does that conversation flow? Well, that's really what we specialize in. We want to sit down with people that technologies they're uncomfortable, they don't understand the gigabytes and all the, all the, you know, what type of, uh, do I need a server, do I need a NAS, do I need cloud, do I need a hybrid? It just becomes very confusing for them. We sit down, we put it in layman's term, and we really want to look at what is your business doing and what do you need to have your technology as a business growth? We take care of all the heavy lifting and make it smooth and seamless for you. So if someone has any follow-up questions, uh, Roland, about their technology, how can they get in touch with you and your team? The best thing to do, give us a call at 281-647-9977 or reach us on the web, impresscomputers.tech, that's I-M-P-R-E-S-S, computers.tech, and uh, they can schedule a, a network assessment or an appointment directly off our website. Wonderful. We appreciate this segment of Your Tech, Your Business with Roland Parker. We're going to take a quick commercial break, folks, and uh, really appreciate all of our guests. If you want to be a guest, feel free to email me at sherman.on at hgfin.net. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Sherm's out.